Well, hello, this is Gabe. Um, <coughs> this is my yard. Uh, you may remember the tent from previous videos. It's still there. It's still full of wood. I don't think I'm going to be able to fit all this wood in it, though, because now I have four trees down. A tornado came through here yesterday. My wife got a lot of pictures. Uh, this is my first chance of actually <coughs> filming anything. You may remember this shed. Didn't look like that before, but it was over there. Garage is still in one piece. House is still mostly in one piece. Lost a lot of windows in the front. There is the walnut tree. Um, still got a few leaves on it. I suppose it might survive. I have a look out the front here. Let's see where I've got some can a candle <laughs> in here in the piano room. Probably can't see that window. It's boarded up. This window seems to be okay. Neighbor's house seems to fare pretty good, though. You can see it's sort of a mess here. There's a tree that came down. I think one of my trees came down on that tree. <laughs> um, that's the one that had all the little bits hanging off it. They were still hanging off it, uh, but uh, now we don't have to worry about that tree anymore. Well, I suppose maybe we have to clear it up. I don't know. It depends on whether anybody shows up on behalf of the neighbors to clear it up. Uh, here we are in the front room. Here's the front. As you can see, lots and lots of trees down. Fortunately, our two cars survived fine. No problem with those. Um, but you can see it's just uh, pulled up giant sections of dirt along with the tree, dirt and tree roots along with the tree and just knocked the trees over. That's pretty much exactly what happened everywhere in our neighborhood. Probably because the soil isn't very deep. It's just, uh, you go down about two or three feet and it's stone, uh, limestone bluff. Because uh, we're up on a bluff above the Mississippi. <clears throat> Gonna head out on the porch, hopefully without letting the cat out here because... <laughs> Because there's no real security for the porch. Not there ever was, but, uh, you know, the, at least we could keep the cat in. Uh, this window survived completely intact. Yay, this window. Not so much yay for these windows. Uh, this one, both top and the bottom broke, and we lost the tops on those two and the bottoms on those two. And those two just flew out of the house uh, <laughs> and landed on the front yard. Uh, but uh, they seem to be in good enough shape. I'm probably going to be able to put some glass back in them. And that would never was a window. That was always a screen. It seems to have done pretty well. There you can see what's left in the windows there. Oh, here. <laughs> there you can see what's left in the windows. <laughs> uh, I just wanted to, uh, well, there's a curfew in place, but I don't think it's in place here because from what I understand on the radio, if it were in place here, they wouldn't let me stay in the house overnight. Um, so I'm just going to quickly go out here onto the street so you can see uh, just what was going on here. Uh, yep, there it is. <clears throat> I've got about three inches of water in my basement, and uh, once curfew is definitely over, I'm going to be <sighs> hooking up my pump again, try and pump it out. I have a hose here. There's the hose, and I've got a car and a power inverter. It's currently running the radio, you could hear, while we were in the house. So this is what it looks like down one way of my street. Now, you might not know it, but <laughs> a little bit ago, the street was full of nice, tall, old, you know, 80, 100-year-old trees. Most of those are gone now. My silver maple is still here! Yay, my silver maple, and hopefully it will live. Um, it lost quite a bit, but it needed some pruning, and thank goodness I didn't have to do it. Um, and here we are in the other direction. We have a little porch problems over there. I think one of those trees or tree limbs landed on it. Oh, someone's coming. No, no, that's, they're not coming this way. And there we are. I heard it was even worse south of here. There was a gas leak a couple of blocks south, and some evacuated people came by. Sarah borrowed one of their cell phones to call me. I was running errands. Uh, if I hadn't been, uh, that tree, there's a big old sugar maple over here that is now gone. And uh, it came down right about where our cars are now parked. Um, and uh, my car was parked just forward enough, far forward enough, that it didn't get hit in the back. And just far back enough, it didn't get hit in the fore, in the front. There was actually a uh, it wasn't very big. It might not have punctured it, but there was like three inches from the windshield. There was a, <laughs> a limb that came down. 
and uh, I was out with Sarah's car, so it was fine. <laughs> it was driving to Savage at the time, or maybe back from Savage, getting new windshield wiper blades, because, I mean, I'd heard on the radio that there was damage at 94th and Dowling, but I hadn't heard how much damage, and this is how much damage. Um, yep. Oh, I should, should go down here a couple houses. There's this really funny tree. <laughs> And there it is. <laughs> that must have had more roots than any of the other trees that came down that I've seen on our block. I think there were some worse ones a couple blocks away. And there it is. The people in this house all got up on it, and they were clowning around and taking pictures of themselves with it. That was fun. <sighs> and, oh my gosh, let's look at all that mess. Okay. <laughs> so I'm headed back now. It, uh, this section of fence, well, that's where we found it. This section of fence here we actually had to put back in place. It was lying in my front yard. Um, <laughs> this isn't my house. <laughs> this is my house. Fortunately, the nice stained glass, well, it's not stained, the leaded glass window survived fine. Uh, porch windows, well, you saw those earlier. <coughs> Had some people by helping us pick up, so that's good. Still got a lot of glass down here. Oh. And now uh, maybe you can see a little better. It just knocked all these trees to the, uh, what would that be, to the west. Knocked them all over to the west. Looks like our apple tree survived, though it's got a lot of shade at the moment. So <laughs> I hope uh, I'm going to be, so there's some people coming by, some of Sarah's, well, Dad's, Sarah's dad and maybe some of his friends, at least that's what I hear, will be coming by uh, with the chainsaw to try and hack this stuff up, which would be nice. <laughs> it sort of fell on the neighbor's house, but not quite. You can see there's some damage, but it's not from the trees, it's from the wind. It just blew off some of their siding. <laughs> you can see some of it here. There's the electric pole. It came down, so we have no electricity. This is what we did yesterday. Oh, here's the, here's the other tree that fell down. This one fell down, just barely missed the corner of the house, as you can see. and actually sort of hit it, maybe a little bit, but not much. This corner of the house looks pretty good, considering. Uh, that's the walnut tree. Here we have, um, well, this is what we did yesterday, is we cut up all these bits of the walnut tree that fell on the garden. We were going to plant the garden today, and I, I think I may still do it, just because I'm not sure how much else I can actually do. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and there's the here's the electric pole. They say that uh, what 6,000 homes are still without power. They're trying to get it hooked up to several thousand more by midnight tonight. And I don't know if that means me or not. Um, I'm sort of hoping because <laughs> uh, we got a fridge full of stuff. But uh, I don't know when somebody comes over today, assuming they do, then I'll be asking them to go run and get me some ice. Uh, though I suppose I could run and get me some ice, but I'm also sort of watching the house. Looks like the girl survived. I may get that out and try and eat something. Um, heat something up. I just had some cold cereal, though, because we got milk when he's eating, drinking. Fire pit. That's probably where all this wood's going to go, eventually. <laughs> going to take a long time. <sighs> Guess that's that for now. Oh, there's the other end of the electric line. Pulled it right down off the house there. We lost some shingles. Um, we lost some tar paper too. Back up in that corner there. And it's supposed to rain again today. Uh, we got a tarp, but I haven't managed to get it up on the house yet. There's a boarded up window. Uh, I guess that's it for now. My tornado damaged house.